though they aren't us. These are caring people. They've buried the piece of reindeer antler with their friend. From the burial of the old man of La Chapelle in France, who was found with red pigments scattered around his head, we know Neanderthals, unlike their predecessors, sometimes buried their dead. We can't know whether Neanderthals believed in an afterlife, but they were the first to leave such evidence of caring. With only two of them left, the odds of a successful hunt are stacked against these Neanderthals. Like all early peoples, their senses are fine-tuned to the presence of animals. They sense the bison can't be far away. This is what they're looking for. Bison have been this way, and recently. It takes not only skill, but courage to track a one-ton beast. And this isn't like the summer hunt. The deep snow makes it even more dangerous. And the bison has an acute sense of hearing as well as smell. With only stone-tipped spears, they face the moment of truth. These hunters know the only way to make a kill is to separate one bison from the herd. A one-on-one -on -one encounter is their only chance. There's 15 feet of snow beneath their feet, making it difficult to maneuver with their heavy spears. To get close enough, they must take great care. Bison are easily alarmed. The bison's been felled. The Neanderthals have been beaten to the kill. But by who? They are face to face with two strangers. They're slender. They've round heads like modern humans. These are not people like them. They have swift, much lighter spears they can throw from afar. For hundreds of thousands of years, the Neanderthals have been the only inhabitants of Europe. These Neanderthals and their waiting band will have no future.
Their place in history will be usurped by an entirely new race of humans, bearing a yet more advanced weapon, the antler-tipped spear. And they will have all the brain power and abilities we have today. This encounter with these newcomers signals the beginning of the end for the Neanderthals. They won't survive. They've met the Cro-Magnons. These new people, Homo sapiens sapiens, will become the greatest hunters of them all. The undisputed masters of our planet, they will be us.